All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. If not, I hope this video will brighten your day a little just because we have awesome news regarding upcoming anime games. We have three different events back to back coming in the next couple months. One in July, one in August, and another one in September. How crazy is that? If you guys are excited, please make sure to drop a like on today's video. Let's try to get this video to 3,000 likes. I will greatly appreciate it. Also, comment down below the anime game you're looking forward to the most. For me, you already know, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tagechi 4. Now, that's probably not going to be the official name. That's just a placeholder. It could be even called Dragon Ball Super Budokai Tagechi. Who knows? Who knows? But before we talk about the upcoming different game events, let's talk about the past ones real quick. The recent PlayStation Showcase. They showed absolutely nothing. Of course, we still got some awesome gameplay of Spider-Man 2, but I'm just talking about anime games in today's video. Yeah, we definitely weren't eaten at all. Next, we got the Summer Game Fest. Now, we did get a brand new anime game announcement during this one. It's called Sandland, a story created by Akira Toriyama, who also created Dragon Ball. Y'all already know this, but I'm looking forward to this game, believe it or not. It looks extremely fun. It's an open world style game. It's a universe I know nothing about. I haven't read the manga, so just exploring the world, the story for the very first time, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Next, we got the Xbox Showcase. Now, now, now. My expectations were definitely low, don't get me wrong. However, I was definitely hopeful at the same time. <laughs> I wanted to see a new Brikai Tekaichi announcement right just because of their past showcases i believe xbox also also revealed dragon ball fighters jump force and even a new trailer of dragon ball z kakra as well as dropping the official title of the game so yeah those were fun times we didn't get nothing this year but stay hopeful my friends just because of the three different anime events Massive thanks to DBS Hype for sharing this on Twitter. He said, According to Official Anime Expo 2023 schedule, Bandai Namco will have a summer showcase on July 1st, literally in two more weeks and a couple days, I believe, <laughs> where they will reveal new announcement for their upcoming games. And here we have the official post by Anime Expo. July 1st, Bandai Namco Entertainment Summer Games or Summer Showcase 2023. And it starts at 4.30 PST, I believe, and ends 550. So the entire panel is gonna be an hour and 20 minutes long. That is totally awesome to hear. Now, this obviously does not confirm that they're gonna be showcasing Budokai Tengachi 4. It would be awesome. I'm just talking about it and sharing this information with you guys because we have something to look forward to. That's for dang sure. Now, for me at least. I'm looking forward to four different types of anime games. The first one, My Hero Ultra Rumble. We got three different betas of it already. Two closed betas and one open beta. However, the open beta was exclusive to PlayStation consoles. So I think it would be awesome if they drop another open beta, but on all platforms, Xbox, Switch, PlayStation, and PC, that would be great. I feel like this game is gonna be dropping sometime this year. We still don't have an official release date just yet. But the second anime game I'm looking forward to is Naruto Storm Connections. We already got a release date for this one sometime in 2023. Not a specific exact release date, but sometime this year, right? I'm pretty sure they're going to have, you know, a playable trial over at the Anime Expo just because there was one during the Summer Game Fest event. The third anime game I'm looking forward to is Sandsland, which I just talked about exploring a brand new world for the very first time. It's going to be pretty fun. And the fourth one, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tekaichi 4. <laughs> now, now, I do want to reiterate, I'm not confirming that they will be showcasing Budokai Tekaichi 4. I'm just hoping to see that during the Anime Expo. I believe this event is going to be going on for four days. Starts July 1st and ends on July 4th. And it's awesome how the very first day... They're going to be showcasing all of their brand new announcements for their upcoming games. Once again, the runtime is going to be a total of an hour and 20 minutes. Now, we do have something very interesting over here. Massive shout outs to PS360. He said, interesting thing about this. He's referring to the Anime Expo that I just talked about. Both CyberConnect2 and Spike Chunsoft 
developers for the rumored Jump Stars Ultimax and Tenkaichi series, just because Jump Stars Ultimax is not confirmed, at least at the time of recording this video, and we don't know who's developing Tenkaichi. That's why he said rumored <laughs> for Jump Stars and Tenkaichi series. Anyways, they both will be at Anime Expo holding their very own individual panels. Now, he's not confirming that Jump Stars Ultimax is confirmed. That's not what he's saying at all. He's just saying that the developers, CyberConnect2 and Spike Tunesoft, will be at Anime Expo, right? He even said right here, not related to these games, but it is interesting that the whole squad is in town. And he's right. It is interesting. I mean, it does make sense for CyberConnect2 to be there because, obviously, Naruto Storm Connections, but Spike Chunsoft? Is it because of Budokai Tegechi 4? Or maybe even Jumpstart's OT Max? Or they're just there just to announce a different anime game? Who knows? Who knows? Take this with the smallest grain of salt. Uh, at the time of recording this video, once again, Jumpstart's OT Max is not even a real thing, right? But as for the second anime event, we have GamesCon. They said, Bandai Namco Europe, winner of the Best Games Booth 2022 award, will return to Gamescon 2023. And this is interesting right here. They already told us that we can expect their biggest lineup in years and even might have an extra surprise or two for you in stock. So this event is going to be taking place through August 23rd and August 27th. Once again, just another event to look forward to. Um, you know, they won the award, the Best booth award during 2022 so 2023 might be even better that's what they're saying <laughs> with some extra surprises for us and as for the third event if we don't get any news regarding budokai tegechi 4 hopefully we see something during the tokyo game show now if y'all remember when they first teased budokai tegechi 4 the announcer said that the game was in early development, and I totally believe that just because they haven't showed anything so far. Tokyo Game Show is definitely our last hope. This is the last game show for the year, I'm pretty sure. And this event is going to be taking place on September 21st through September 24th. So again, four days where they can announce something major, right? I'm looking forward to Budokai to get you for <laughs> So comment down below, which events do you think they will announce Budokai Tegaichi? I think it's going to be Tokyo Game Show, just because, once again, the game is early in development. Hopefully the game drops early 2024. Who knows? Who knows? Just wanted to shine some light on the three different events. Definitely something to look forward to. And again, I'm not confirming that they will showcase Budokai Tegaichi 4. It's just that we have some potential. Right? That's all I'm trying to say. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate the immense support. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!